I want to tell you an account. You may think it odd that I didn't say story, but there's a very good reason for this. What I'm about to tell you is absolutely true. It's history, and the most important history you'll ever hear. It's what makes Christmas such a pivotal moment. It begins at the dawn of time. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God created Adam and Eve and placed them into a beautiful garden called Eden. And God saw all that he had made. And it was very good. But they disobeyed God and brought sin into the world. From that moment, all creation was cursed and has never been the same. Sin came into the world through one man and death through sin. And so death spread to all people because all sinned. But thankfully, God, in his love, didn't leave us without hope. He gave a promise, a promise that provides true hope. This is the book of the generations of Adam. Over time, Adam's descendants became more and more wicked and everyone on the earth turned their backs on God. Everyone except a man named Noah. God told his faithful servant Noah to build a ship, an ark. Noah did exactly as he was told and made the ark according to the instructions given to him by God. Then the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and all your household, for I have seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of all clean animals, the male and his mate, and a pair of the animals that are not clean, the male and his mate, and seven pairs of the birds also, male and female, to keep their offspring alive on the face of all the earth. Once Noah and his family were safely on board, God himself shut the door of the ark. At that moment, something happened that the world had never seen before and will never see again. Water burst forth from inside the earth and torrential rain fell for 40 days and 40 nights. Our entire planet was completely covered by water. Everyone and everything that dwelt upon the land perished. Noah, his family, and the animals on the ark were all that survived. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. Behold, I establish my covenant with you and your offspring after you. This is the sign of the covenant. I have set my bow in the cloud, and the water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. Even today, we can look to the sky, see a rainbow, and remember God's promise to Noah. Noah's sons began their new lives after the flood and had many children. But over the course of time and generations later, the most important child ever born came into this world. This is the very reason we are here tonight. A woman named Mary 
was told by an angel she would find herself to be miraculously pregnant. A miracle because she was a virgin. She gave birth to this child in the city of David, Bethlehem. And his name was Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of woman. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. God's Son became the God-Man, Jesus Christ. A blameless man without sin. And at the proper time, he died for us all. But it didn't end there. He rose from the grave after three days and is now in heaven with God his Father. When the first man disobeyed God in the garden, he brought sin into the world. And the wages of sin is death. But God in his love provided a way of salvation. He sent his son to this cursed world to die for our sins so that men could have eternal life if they confess with their mouths that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in their heart that God raised him from the dead. Someday, God is going to judge this world again. But a wooden ark won't save us this time. We need a different type of ark. We need Jesus Christ, our ark of salvation. Just like there was only one door into the ark, there is only one way to escape God's judgment, and that is through Jesus Christ. He said, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved. <laughs>